Hello YouTubers, today we're going to do a kit review on the Edward MiG 21R, the 148th scale jet. This is a Russian fighter jet. Uh, this kit was bought from Andy's Hobbies. Uh, go to andyshobbies.com and check him out. He's got some cool kits, good prices. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel that you can watch him do his own kit reviews. So that's pretty cool. So check out Andy's Hobbies today. All right, let's take a look at this box. There's the front of the box. Edward. There's the side of the box. And there. There's some of the other ways that you can paint this, the paint schemes. We got a, this is from the Soviet Air Force in Kabul, Afghanistan in 81. Yugoslavia Air Force, 1971. Czech Air Force, Kozlov AB, 1994. Uh, we got the Polish Air Force version and the Cuban Air Force version. So those are different ways that you can paint those, which that's always nice. It's nice to have a variety. You can decide what you wanna do with that kit. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, and right off the bat, we have a Andy's Hobbies headquarters. Uh, like I said, this is where I got this kit from. You should check out that site. He's got a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, this is our instruction manual. As you can see, it is very, very detailed. Very nice stuff. Shows you everything it comes with. Very nice. Look at that. Even shows you how to paint those. That's great there. This is what I was talking about on the side of the box. Different paint schemes you can check out. Look at that really really cool that way you don't have to look them up on the internet you can just check them out here looks really really cool okay and here's some of the decals right there that would be some and there's a lot that's a lot of decals it's gonna be a lot of time a lot of patience and time. I'm not sure. Oh, that is for your canopy to put on. And uh, that way you can mask the canopy off. Uh, let's go ahead and open these up. Okay, everything is out of the packs. Makes it easier. You don't have to watch me pulling them out. There's your fuselage. Kind of basic, not too much really going on there. Um, other parts right here. I am not too familiar with MIGs. I always thought they looked cool. A lot of movies in the 80s showed Russian MIG fighters. And they always just kind of look neat. So there is all the pieces. Check that out. All right, we got some wings here. The inside there. There's the outside. There's some detail there. I'll pull that up so you can kind of see all that. This is a 148 scale plane, once again. There's our canopy. Oh, and there's all, there's our control panel. That looks like, yeah, right there. So that's nice. A lot of clear parts. There's the back. Looks pretty good. A lot of small parts, I will say that. A lot of small parts gonna take a lot of time 
This is not a, a fast hobby. This is a hobby that you take your time with and try to make things look as real as possible. I think we're gonna have to see how this looks when this is done. Uh, first look at it, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what's going on here. I know what this is supposed to look like, but not really sure what's all involved here. Here's some photo etched parts, which those are pretty nice. Got some straps there. And then there's your cockpit parts. Let's get like that. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty nice. So this is this is definitely one. It looks like it's gonna be a nice kit. Nothing really jumping out at me while I'm looking at it for detail or anything, except for those photo etch parts. I mean, those are really nice. You got some detail. I don't know. I think, like I said, well, I just have to see how this turns out once it's built, and it might surprise you, especially when you add some extra things to it and just maybe kind of go crazy with different things, some add-ons, you know, try to look around and see if you can find something else to put to it to make it pop, you know, make it look awesome. So once again, check out this kit if you're interested. Also check out Andy's Hobbies headquarters and maybe do some of your shopping there. And, uh, hey, thank a veteran today. Uh, tell them how much you appreciate what they've done for you. And as always, God bless.